In our health cast today, as rates of type 2 diabetes do increase rapidly worldwide, researchers are trying to come up with a potentially long-lasting treatment. Dr. Chelsea Gordner with Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital says that while the standard treatment out there isn't very effective, the drugs are short-lived, which led researchers into the lab. So they added this protein that extends the half-life or the duration of action of the GLP-1 um, hormone. And we don't know how long it's going to last yet because it's very premature in studies. But the hope is that it will last longer than the current uh, medications on the market. Gordner says the GLP-1 drugs do help prevent blood sugar levels from rising after eating, and they also make patients feel fuller. And according to another new study, treating loneliness and social isolation could lower health complications for people classified as obese. That study highlights the major focus in preventing obesity-related illnesses and looked at data from nearly 400,000 people from the UK Biomedical Database. It revealed all causes of death for people classified as obese was 36% lower in people who felt less lonely and socially isolated over time. Social isolation was the greatest risk factor for all causes of death, including cancer and depression. And new AI technology is being tested right now at one U.S. hospital, and it may help doctors diagnose cancer more quickly and accurately. That technology can be trained to detect specific types of diseases, like prostate or breast cancer, and not only catch the cancer, but also determine exactly how much cancer is present in the biopsy. So we are in a very exciting time in diagnostic pathology because we have all these new tools available to us which can help oncologists, which can help cancer patients like never before. And that technology comes at a very critical time because new data shows that cancer is becoming more prevalent in younger people.